Now, business matter be this, and my name is Frank. Fagbo, on top of Azoria Max TV, now we'll talk about issues with the hot for inside the economy, issues around your business. And you get some kind of business policies where we say government don't put in place. But then we'll, we'll enter inside market straight up. Now, the number one thing we'll get for you, we say GSM telcos, like all these top um, telecoms companies, they don't lose nothing less than 1.1 billion naira. Just on top, say, they ban registration of SIM cards. So you get some kind of policies where we say they affect some kind of industries. You could just see some kind of government policies, not just policies where we say they for politics. But then sometimes all these policies they affect businesses, they affect the economy. As the telcos they don't come out, they don't raise alarm. Talk say they don't lose nothing less than 1.1 trillion billion naira on top say the ban registration of SIM cards. So you mean say all those hundred hundred naira SIM card we say they buy for inside streets two two hundred see what they amount to. No matter the amount for the economy, it still means some kind of major thing. No matter the amount for any business, it still means some kind of major thing for inside the economy. From one business matter, enter another matter, we say they sweet right now. I know say this kind of matter, many people will say their businesses they run on top internet for inside this country. People will say that they get some kind of meetings for on top online. They go they happy about this story. Why? Because again, one thing we say federal government and Microsoft, they go into they announce one kind of huge developments where they happen for inside the country. Now they want to do some kind of things we say that they call high speed internet infrastructure. So they want to fix infrastructure in place. They want to put some kind of major, major um, designs and major, major infrastructure in place so that we go feel they get high-speed internet connection. Because why the world right now don't they enter a global village? We don't they in a global village. We say from the comfort of your home, you feel they run your business and your business feel they 24-7 online. So what you need? Nothing less than high-speed internet. And this high-speed internet now in federal government in partnership with Microsoft. Microsoft now big boy when you come, when you talk, when, when would they talk about um, um, ICT, when would they talk about everything we need to understand about internet. So they can come in partnership with federal government. Talk, say, may they, may they deliver high-speed internet to business persons from inside the country, to Nigerians in general, so that all this infrastructure could do in place for the digital economy, we we'll see one try enter right now. You get one matter, we we'll say they buzzle around the banking sector. Now, CBN don't sack some kind of people. They don't, it don't sack the board of directors for inside First Bank. I know some kind of people go the reason say, ah, CBN don't sack the board of directors for inside First, First Bank. Wait till they happen. Wait till go do my money. Wait for inside First Bank. You know, as everything waiting for inside the banking sector, they highly regulated. Now, why CBN interfere for inside their matter? So your money, they very much intact. They don't sack them. Talk, say, okay, you get some kind of things where they happen, some kind of katakata, in-house katakata where they happen for inside the bank. And for them to quench the fire where they happen, the guys make sure, say, they, they, they lay off some kind of board of directors. Man, we stand by the Men, we say stand by the for inside the bank. They lay them off. Talk say, okay, they want new, they want to restructure the bank and make sure, say, some kind of new management enter the bank. But then, as I talk, um, the banking sector, they highly regulated, so nothing will happen to your company. And they get the day under NDIC. So, they're very much intact. Now, from one business matter, enter another matter, we say they hurt also. People of Agege, you get one thing, we say they want to do right now. People with the inside, for, with the inside Agege, they want to do Agege trade fair. Now, trade fair, now say, okay, they get one kind of open market. Open market for vendors to come showcase their goods and services. For vendors to come talk about what thing that they do. Because why? That place could they open to businesses. And they expect nothing less than 50,000 people to come look, to, to come check out all the things we say business persons they do for inside Agege. Now, the trade fair, they talk to the, the, the host, nothing less than, they, 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 they expect nothing less than 50 people, 50,000 people per day, 50,000 potential customers, do they enter that space to just check out what in business persons they do. And they talk to you for you to get stand for inside that Agege trade fair, where they happen. And the trade fair, they talk to you, it will happen from the 13th of May, enter 19th of May, 2021. That means not this month. And it will just happen in just one week. And so for you to get stand, they talk to me, you pay nothing less than 40K for you to just get stand for there, so that you go get access to all of all these customers, potential clients, where we say go troop into the um, Agege Trade Fair. And you know, say Trade Fair in a place where we say if you use catch major of your, many of your customers, so that you go feel, uh, try for inside the kind of business, where we say you do for inside Agege. Another thing where they happen for inside the capital market, but this one at the global economy. You don't hear about cryptocurrency, no be new news, no be new thing for inside the economy, but then, People will be saying invest inside Ethereum, man. They the smile go bank. Because why? Ethereum, which is now the second uh, most capitalized coin for inside the whole world, they don't reach an all-time high. All-time high of nothing less than $3,000, man. 
amazing for inside people, for amazing for investors where they invest for inside the cryptocurrency market. And if you want to find out about things for inside the cryptocurrency market, you the reason say make you carry your money, make you go invest inside cryptocurrency. Oh boy, sit down, relax, make you understand the market. Why? Because the market they very very volatile, and market where they very very volatile, you guys come from an in, from an informed mindset approach that market. If not, hmm, your money if you enter or your or your fee be your case. But then. You know, so we they always come here with some kind of takeaway. We can give you some kind of giveaways, giveaway section. We don't we don't enter the take business takeaway segment and this business takeaway segment. What do we want to talk about? We want to talk about business persons where they try to apply for loans. So if you be business person, you be an entrepreneur, you they try to apply for loan, you the reason say, how am I going to use do this kind of thing? You get some kind of things where we say you need to sort out. So that if you enter bank, go apply for loan, you enter any, any bank, any commercial bank, or even you enter any microfinance bank, they're not going to bounce you because why? You don't sort out yourself. You don't get some kind of relevant information from on top of this business takeaway segment. And the relevant information is where we say you need to put in place before going to get loan for inside bank or before you qualify for you to get loan as, a, as an SME or as a, or as a business person or as an entrepreneur. You guys make sure say you consolidate all your banking activities. Forget that grammar. I'm going to explain and give you. Sometimes you, you get some kind of small business, but you get like six bank accounts just on top of one kind of small business. Oh boy. You know, go, you know, you know really, really did necessary. Just find one bank. We say you go to use for all your banking activities on top of that business. Why? Because if you spread all your financials across different banks, you know, say, you know, go they consolidated, you know, go they from one bank so that if they, they monitor your inflow, your outflow, your bottom line, everything where they, where they happen, all the financial activities where they happen for inside the bank, they know go see Siam in a huge way. So you guys make sure, say, everything they synchronized into just one bank and you register the bank with, in, in sync with your business, where we say they do. Another thing we say you need to understand, we say number two thing we say you need to understand as a business person, you guys check your credit, your credit status. Now when they talk about credit status, what does that one mean? It means say you guys make sure say the money we say you they get inside your account or the account where you get, you know they owe any loan, you know get any basic on ground or you they very very you know they are negative. So if you get all these things very much intact, if you if you approach any bank, you're gonna say, oh at least you don't scale some kind of processes and you they qualify to get some kind of loan. Another thing we say you need to understand about loans, be say you need to make sure say your turnover they very much intact. Now your turnover and I say okay all of the financial activities where they happen for your company, all of your books, everything, all the financial activities. I know they even talk of profit at this point in time. But everything where they enter, person they buy, profit before tax, profit after tax, everything joint put. All of your total revenue, man, you guys make sure they stay intact and they monitored. All of your books, they very much intact. Another thing we say you need to understand, you say, oh boy, as an entrepreneur, you need to show your working. Now when they say show your working, you need to show, say, oh, okay, say you get cap you, you get capable to pay back that loan. Say at least your profit after tax, they very much intact. So when would they talk about your profit after tax? Now the profit, the money where we say they enter the, the pocket of your business. I know they talk about your own personal pocket because as an entrepreneur, you're supposed to know. Say your personal account, supposed they different from your banking account, from your um, business account. So you don't go mix everything up. So if you they show your working, you go show your working, say, oh boy, as I collect this loan, I get the capability, I get the capacity to pay back this loan. So they will issue out some kind of loan transactions to you. And the number, the last thing we say, you need to understand, we say you guys take care of your bottom line. Now, when they talk of bottom line, when they talk of your profit, bottom line are the major reason why a lot of people, they set up businesses. Bottom line are waiting, they make you smile, go bank. Bottom line are the profits, we say they get from your business, we say they do as an entrepreneur. So you guys make sure say your bottom line, they're very much intact. If you satisfy all of all those things, trust me, all of the many paperwork, na moi moi. If you just enter into any commercial bank, you show all these things and you get some kind of collateral, we say stand by the bar for inside one kind of place, man. They go give you this loan. Bank, you know, they're very, very difficult. And the world right now is a global village. And all, how you take Siam as per business persons where they for inside the economy to get loan? My brother, it could say loan even they are available for people to collect. Last, last. Because very true. a lot of people they find ways to improve their business and their capital. Mm -hmm. they usually they hold them back. And it's it good as you don't give us all these kind of tips. So we need to put things we need to put in place to make sure say when we enter to ask for loan, it could be easier for us to even co collect the loan in the first place. You don't talk uh, about it. Waiting on the even the fear person pass now. When they don't carry this money now, hopefully they go use it and do it in the 
they say they, they don't put collateral on ground now. Yeah. So if they're, okay. if they're around, they are collateral out there on ground. If, if they're around, they collect your collateral. <laughs> Very true. That's what it be. That's what it be for the banking it sector. It's good. It makes sense. Thank yeah. you, Fabio Frank, for all this update so you don't give us. Thank you, man. But I don't hear that more. Uh, hey, as you talk, I'm not the matter we will carry on with that for business matters. And uh, if I want to follow Fabio Frank, but I know he handled already, Mona Neram. Tell us, hey, bros, how far? Show us the way, make all this matter take soft. But uh, now, so we take wrap I'm up on top of the show this morning. And I appreciate everybody who join us from the beginning of the show till this time. On a sister, we give on a as they hot. We serve them to now. All the contributors we call in on a too much. And uh, so we do them every day, Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. My name now Edewo, and if you follow me on top of my social media platform at Edewo10. And follow at Wazwe Max TV also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Drop your comments. Uh, drop your comments. I go carry them come show. Make we yanam as usual. Make we get a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, start your day well as you do.